Hello everyone, welcome. This is the time that we celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, we are so thankful for your son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for us so that we can have a right to eternal life. And if you would like Jesus to be a part of your life, just pray to him and ask him to be in your life. First, you want to, you have to believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sins and that he is the Son of God. If you sincerely believe that and you would like him to save you and bring salvation into your life, then talk to him. Just pray to him and tell him that you believe in him and that you ask him to forgive you of all of your sins and give your life over to him. And then ask him to lead you and guide you from this point forward into what to do and how to live your life. And definitely suggest you get in your Bible. There's apps all over your phone if you don't have a physical Bible. Really get into your Bible and search for a Bible-believing church that will lead you in the right directions. But really just start building up your relationship with God. Pray to him, which is basically talking to him. In your alone time, you could take some time to talk with him. Like I'm talking with you right now, you could talk to him within your head and within your mind and within your heart. That's the, one of the best things is that you can reach out to him at any time in your own my, mind and in your own heart and in your own conscience and connect with him at any time you need to. So it's an open door constantly that the Lord is there for you. And if you want any connections with any resources or whatnot, please email us at cbiztv at yahoo.com. That's cbiztv at yahoo.com. And we can send some resources your way. God bless you. Again, thank you for joining us. Uh, we're going to, in this segment, check out this uh, new website I I happened upon. And it's called hegetsus.com. Uh so we're just going to kind of browse through, but I thought this was a great site as I, I looked through part of it already, but not in totality. So we're looking at it right now. It says he gets us because he gets us. Okay. I'm sorry. I got to get it at the top. But what I'm reading right now, it says something about our lives because he was human too. I don't know if part of that was cut off or what, what that was. Okay, now it's going down too far. It's getting out of control, but we're browsing this site called He Gets Us. I scroll down and it says Jesus was arrested, wrongfully, wrongly judged, a refugee, and canceled. He gets us. I like that statement. Jesus was the son of God, but he went through a lot of things kind of for no reason. And I know sometimes we go through things in life and it does feel like there's no reason, especially if you're young and you go through something traumatic and you had nothing to do with it. But somehow you had to go through that and it seems unfair. But Jesus had to go through some things that were unfair as well, but no fault to himself but it was his mission and it's, it was what God set him out to do and a lot of times through our test our testimony comes forth and we can kind of be a blessing and help one another through our story and through what we've gone through and getting through that so they asked have you experienced frustration sorrow temptation so as jesus jesus understood what life was like for people in his day especially for the marginalized he was drawn to those on the fringes because he was one too an immigrant homeless arrested bullied through it all jesus welcomed outcasts stood up for women hung out with trouble troublemakers and even befriended enemies and then they have a chat now button on the side he did it because of his radical love, empathy, and acceptance for all of us. So I believe this is an outreach website. And there's a lot there's a lot more that we can read. I'm not going to read everything that, that's here. Um, the letter A is here. It says, Jesus suffered anxiety 
if work family or life or just life have you feeling stressed you're not alone jesus knew anxiousness too get the full story you can click on that link b says jesus was in broken relationships so it looks like all of these letters stand for something l jesus knew loneliness so all of these things that we might be going through is kind of letting you know that jesus went through it too and he can relate to you so i appreciate what i'm seeing already and i'm seeing the chat now button where people can chat with you right in the moment he gets us all of us whatever you're experiencing jesus faced it too chat with someone or connect one-on-one -on -one or with the group to learn more there's also a reading plan get to know the real jesus on your terms i just kind of like the way that they are approaching this and sharing jesus christ it really to me seems like an outreach if you know anybody that's going through something whether it be mentally physically spiritually it's kind of like a reach out for that person and letting them know that jesus can help them jesus is someone that they can relate to and they can find answers in jesus so then i'm going to this next link here it says giving us choices to read watch listen so i'm going to check out one of these options here listen and so it looks like people are sharing kind of like their real looks like true stories i'm not sure for sure so i'm not gonna play this but i just like the way that they have information you can read watch listen and i was trying to scroll down more i can't see everything i feel like there might be something below this but the way this is working i can't get down any lower than this and you can always hit that chat now button to connect with them so i appreciate this platform there's a lot out there for life coaches and mental health and i believe all of those things are awesome and then we should utilize those resources but it's great to have a resource as well where people can look to jesus and see that he is also an option in helping you and you don't just have to choose one or the other you can you can check this out and follow jesus as well as get other resources that may help you life coaches therapists whatever you might need in life if you are struggling in any way and then you see here they have their facebook youtube instagram connects there as well so many ways that you can connect with them and chat with them at any time because sometimes you might just need somebody to talk to it's that simple so i do appreciate what they're trying to do i i, I feel like it's a little unique and a little different and i just like the option to be able to connect and i'm thinking you know even if you're a person of faith you're already saved you just want to talk to somebody see i'm looking at this here it says text for prayer you can send out a text to get prayer read about jesus connect with others chat now all of these options not just for those that aren't saved and don't know jesus yet but for anyone because even if you're saved you're still going to have challenges everything's not going to be perfect you can talk to jesus you can pray sometimes it still hurts sometimes you still don't know what to do and sometimes it feels good to reach out to a brother or sister or friend or just somebody that knows like hey i get it i understand and be a comforting person that will listen or be a person that actually has some advice that can kind of in a way guide you in a way so um, i'm glad this is out here and i'm gonna do a little more research with it and see what else that they do have to offer if i hit that chat now button but it's some place that you can go if you need that um saved or not saved i feel like this is a great place to stop and just talk to someone if you need some more serious resources i will put that link in the description and you can check out some emergency resources that you might need as well all right wishing you all the best everyone god bless you thanks for hanging out for a minute this is irene 
See you, Media. Thank you.